Greetings, my name is Riyadh, and I called my classmates in order to explain Amy phenomenon that really impressed me. Hi. Well, it's called an aurora. Oh, it looks like a rainbow. Good remark, but I don't think you've noticed this shape that is quite different and unique. An aurora is an electrical phenomenon defined as polar lights. It's about a display of a natural light in the Earth's sky that mainly happens in the high latitude regions. This illustration shown below took place during the night of February 2014 and indicate that these lights mostly tend to be either green or red or blue. And how, where does it occur? Auroras are produced when the charged particles, electrons, protons, of the solar wind interact with the magnetosphere. This interaction gives rise to an ionization of the components of the atmosphere and afterwards they produce a very beautiful light of varying color. Furthermore, these auroras occur chiefly in the closed region to magnetic poles. In 1859, it reached Honolulu and even Singapore. In 2003, an aurora was seen in the south of Europe. Also, the one we've watched in the video was noticed in Northern Europe as well as Northern America, which is amazingly weird because the areas most affected by it are Crowland, Alaska, Canada, Iceland, and many other countries close to poles. Oh, I get it. And additionally, the mathematician and physicist Carl Sommer has discovered using cameras that most of light is produced between 19 and 150 kilometers above the ground. Does colors appear randomly? Absolutely not, and I was actually expecting from you a question alike. It appears in red particularly in the highest altitudes and only under more intense solar activity as well as low concentration of atoms, unlike green and blue. They appear only in lower attitudes in which there is a high concentration of oxygen atoms. Wait, wait, wait. I agree I talked a bit fast about the magnetosphere, solar wind and stuff. I'm gonna break down this topic so that you can well figure out since it's the most important part. So let me first tell you about the magnetosphere. The center of the Earth contains molten metals and gravitational pressure roiling around which create magnetic fields around the planet. The sum of all these fields is called the magnetosphere. The positive and negative charged particles of the sun characterized by the high energy bombard these fields that they can get under. This is called the solar wind that heads directly toward the Earth at a speed of a million miles an hour. But don't get confused, it can get through only at places where the magnetosphere is weak and where there's a kind of black hole, such as South Earth and North Earth poles. If so, electrons and protons interact with oxygen and nitrogen and excite them by conveying energy. Thereafter, these atoms release this energy in the form of lights, and this is an aurora.